Another powerful feature of Google Drive is the ability to make websites. These websites are called Google Sites and these will not be a custom websites. You cannot just have any web address because all web addresses will start from sites.google.com uh, slash and then view or something like that and then your uh, address if you get that address because some addresses have already been taken by other people who use google sites so if you are happy to accept this uh, non-custom addresses then you can make uh, google sites for your contents to share with your collaborators and your team members or general public because if you are a business, you might have few things which you want to share with the general public and uh, you have your own websites, but you don't want those shares to happen on your own website. So there, there is a room for Google sites uh, for businesses. And in this video, we will learn how to uh, create Google sites. So the first thing you uh, want to do is you want to be in the root of your Google Drive or in any particular folder where you want to create your website because that Google site will essentially be a Google document. So what I will do is I will create a folder in my root uh, Google Drive and then I will create a website inside that folder. I click on my drive and this is the root of my drive. And now I right click on my drive and create a new folder. My websites create. And now I click on that folder. This folder is empty and here I am going to create my website. So to do that, I click on new, more and Google sites. And now this site has been created. And now I want to customize this website. So the first thing is the cover page or the title page. I have few options here. I can change the image. I can upload from my computer or I can select an image. So first uh, see how I can select an image. And now uh, there are few options which I already have here in Google Sites and I can select any of these image. If I want, I can click on Google Drive and select any of the image from my Google Drive. In this case, I'm going to select any of these default options provided to me by Google. So let us assume we select this option and I say select. Now oh, this is my title page. I can select the title of my page. Let's say my website. To add contents on the right hand side, I have these three tabs, insert, pages and themes. Themes is where you can select any of the theme or any of type of fonts or uh, these kind of things. For example, if I select this diplomat theme, the style of this theme will appear here. The font will change and other few things. Now in pages, I can create pages of my website, but the first thing you should start is from insert tab. And in the insert menu, you have four uh, main options. First is you can insert from your Google Drive. So what it means is that if you insert any of your Google document, that document will be previewed on your website. It will create a wonderful preview. So let's see how it looks. Click on uh, Google Drive. And now I select any of uh, these documents. So let us take some document from my PDF folder. I have this presentation. So I will select this presentation and I will click on insert at the uh, right bottom. And now this document uh, has been inserted on my website. So now here we, I can add many elements. If I uh, look uh, on the right hand side, I can add table of contents, image carousel, button, divider. So let's say this is my first section and now I want to put a divider here. So I just uh, click divider and it will uh, put this divider here. And now I want to add something else. So I can embed something. So this embed means if I have uh, a link to one of my Google documents, so that link I can put here. So let's see how it works. So in order to embed something, I have to get the link first. So let us take some link from my Google documents. So I go to my main drive and let's see, I click on this document and I click on share. And this is my shareable link. So I just copy link here and done and close this document. And now on my website, and now I click on this embed. I put the link of my document here. 
and now a preview of that document appears here so it will not insert as a link but as a previewed document so i can now say insert and now my document has been inserted and when i will view the website i can scroll the document and i can see the full document and i will show you in a minute now i can add another divider here and now let's see how to add any image so i click on this image and this time I upload an image and let us say I upload this image from my computer and now this image will be added here. So in this way you can add elements to your website. If you want to preview the website you click on this preview icon and Google will create a preview of your website so you can have a look for example this is my presentation as you can see i can scroll and i can see all the slides of my presentation here you can add google slides as well just put the link of your google slide and all your presentation which you have made in google slide will appear here similarly in my document area i can scroll uh, the document and i can see all pages of my document so this is how you preview now you can add a text box by clicking on this link if you want to write something uh, uh, for your customer or for your collaborators some message or some description at the top you can insert a text box and uh, write something and now for example i want to publish this website so i just click on publish and it will show me this dialog box and this is the starting address of uh, my website and then after this after this uh, slash whatever address i want i can put here for example let's say i want this web address digit idea help google will check whether this address is available or not if not then it will show me a message and if available i will be able to get that address and let's say i click publish and now my website has been published because I didn't get any message that this address is not available or something like that. And now if I click here, I have the ability to view my published website. And if I click this, now this is my published website and anyone with this address will be able to access this website. So be aware that I might uh, unpublish this website when you are watching this course. But this is how you create websites using Google Drive and Google Sites.